guys, it's for everyday here and I'm here today with another video. In today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a DIY project. I'm going to actually be customizing some Crocs today. Um, so I don't know if you guys have seen, but I do actually have a video of me bedazzling some slides. So I'm actually going to be doing something like similar to that today, but I'm going to be actually doing it on Crocs. Um, it's become a really known trend. Um, for people to have like bedazzled crocs and you know gold chains on them and everything like that and it's super cute um, and I thought it was a really fun idea because I really love DIY projects my sister actually made me some for my birthday so I actually thought I would return the favor um, and make her some for her birthday as well so I'm going to show you guys the ones that she made for me um, and they are pink and this is actually what they look like so you can see they have like the rhinestones here and then in the back um, and then this little gold chain is actually like a little attachment onto this little piece um, and then it has like my nickname which is day and then it has like a few cute pieces on there or widgets on there and then this is like the other shoe it's like the same thing um, you do want to be careful because since it's like sticky stuff, a lot of hair is getting stuck on it because I do have a dog. Um, but yeah, so this is the shoe that she actually made for me and then you can see it has like rhinestones here. I did have to go on Pinterest just to look at different types of inspiration. It was really hard. I think that's like the hardest part is that you see so many cute ones and then you're just like, oh wait, that one's cute. I want to do that. But I want to do a little bit of that and that. So I'm going to just show you guys some pictures of um, some Crocs that I saw that I thought were super cute. Um, that kind of gave me some inspiration so I'll just put these just around so you guys can see some of them have like rhinestones on them some of them have like chains so it just has like a different vibe to each shoe and I just really like that and it's very um, unique and you can just do a lot of stuff with it so I love projects like that because those are my favorite so uh, let's get right into this video so I decided to put the widgets on the shoe first um, before I start bedazzling the shoe and putting all the other stuff on since I have nails on I kind of shoved two of the widgets in and I accidentally took off the clear piece because I was like shoving it too hard so I had to like re-glue them so right now these two are re-gluing one of them goes on each shoe um so now I'm just like I have to do something else so I actually started cutting out all the pieces of each little item that I'm gonna put on the shoe. Like I cut out the chain cause I'm like, it's gonna go there. Um, I cut out this little piece here cause it's going to go here also. I even cut out the rhinestone pieces um, and I made them really small um, because I'm planning on putting them in specific spots. Like I'm gonna put this one here and then with this one, I'm actually going to put it like across the bottom. So I just decided to cut it out just because I'm like, I need to make this more organized and to make sure that each shoe is like relatively the same. I'm like, I cut out the same amount of pieces for this shoe. And then like over here, like I have like this going on for this shoe just so that it's not getting crazy. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing now while I wait for the, sh the widget to actually dry since I broke it. Um, I am actually just going to start playing with the shoe, just seeing how stuff goes. Um, and then putting these little beads on, which I have over here. So I'm going to start putting them on um, with my E6000 glue because I'm just like, I don't have time to wait for them. Um, but I'm going to be really careful. Alright, so I went ahead and knocked one shoe out just because I didn't know exactly how I wanted the shoe to be. So this was kind of like my test shoe. Now I'm going to do the other shoe the same exact way. Um, so I'm just showing you guys the back. Um, and this is kind of where I ended up finishing the shoe. I didn't add any more rhinestones. What you see on this shoe is basically what I'm going to do on the next shoe. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take this next shoe. Um, like I said, we're going to do this shoe exactly how we did the other one. Um, this one's all plain, so let's go ahead and get some rhinestones on it. Um, I'm actually going to speed it up, um, so if you guys want to watch um, exactly what I'm doing to the shoe, it is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it was a little bit simple. Um, I did use the E6000 glue to basically put all the rhinestones, all the chains, 
um, and all the loose items that I put on the shoe. Um, I did use these clips just to clamp down and make sure that the um, chains didn't go anywhere. Um, now this silver rhinestones that I put on, now it did come with a little sticky side on the back. Um, but just to make sure, we want to make sure 100% that it's not going to come off. I did use this E6000 glue to lay that. Here, I'm just going to be laying the chain. Um, as you can see, the chain started like moving a little bit, so it's kind of like coming off. But I had to make sure to lay the chain flat just so that it didn't move because the clips actually can't go on this end of the shoe. So here's kind of like the last phases of me doing the shoe. I'm going on the little rhinestones. Um, I did actually have to use a Q-tip just to clean around because the glue did get a little messy. Um, and that's what you see, I'm using like a little Q-tip. I'll put on the rhinestone and then kind of like around it, I'll make sure to wipe around because you don't want to see the glue on. It's not really that cute. And then here, I'm just making sure that there is no excess glue um, before I let the shoes dry. I finished the shoes last night around like 2 a.m. Um, right now it's 12 p.m. I had went to get my nails done and then I uh, put this wig on. So just in case you guys are like, oh, a whole outfit change or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I finished the shoes last night around 2 a.m. and I'm just letting them dry. Um, this is what they end up turning out. Um, all the rhinestones are pretty kind of like rock solid um, using that glue. Um, but yeah, this is what they look like. Honestly, the shoes didn't take that long to make just because um, it's not a lot. Actually, I mean, you're just kind of like putting some random rhinestones, so it's not like a lot. Now, if the whole shoe was covered in rhinestones, it may have took a little bit longer. Um, but the only reason why it took a little longer for me, and I was doing it to like 2 a.m. because I, I wasn't sure how exactly I wanted it. Um, but once I did the first shoe, I was like, okay, I'm just going to do the next shoe the same way. Um, but I'm so happy the way they turned out. They're like super cute. Um, like I want them now, um, but I know that she'll really like them and I think it's cute It has like a little Scorpio little sign right there um, Since she is a Scorpio um, And I really hope she likes them I will be sure to leave everything down in the description box below if you guys are interested in any of the products that I use to design my Crocs today um, I got the Crocs from Amazon a lot of the stuff I actually got from Amazon So I'll just put all the links for that um, some of the rhinestones um, like this pink ones and the white ones I had those all ready but I'll still um, leave them below but yeah so that was my shoes I'm really happy with the way they turned out I know that she will love them um, but we've actually reached the end of this video if you guys enjoyed it please be sure to give me a thumbs up like subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and I'll see you guys on the next upload bye